Hello everybody. I'm taking a little break and decided to take myself out to lunch. And I am at Bojangles. As for all of you up north, since now I'm in the south, we love our fried chicken and all kinds of good fixings. So I decided to go to Bojangles. And this video is about judgment. And I keep always learning this, but apparently I don't get it. So I'm gonna share. As I'm sitting down and I'm eating my two pieces of chicken, I look up, I see an Amish couple. And in my mind, oh my God, I'm like, what is an Amish couple doing here? Aren't they supposed to be like in a farm somewhere? And why are they here? I mean, are they supposed to be here? Is that part of the rules? So all of these questions are going on in my mind. And I'm thinking, it's just, it happened so fast. And I realized, you know, Yvonne, seriously? One, it's none of your business. Two, it's none of your business. Three, it's none of your business. And I realized, you know what? We are learning about Orisha, about Egung, about spirituality, right? We are learning about, we have to be better people. We are learning about how to have great Iwapele. And here, in the middle of Bojangles, about 15 minutes ago, I was like, what the hell is, like, what are they doing here? You know what, sometimes we're gonna have to, actually sometimes, all the time, we're going to have to keep checking ourselves. Having good character, good moral character, is going to have to take daily, if not hourly, if not minute by minute effort. Because it's easy to go on a mental journey. And remember, thoughts become things. Those words that you spit out, they are spitting out energy into the world. And next thing you know, an energetic crazy is going on that has made a difference later. So lesson, be careful what you think about and who you cast judgment to. Because at the end of the day, you are not going to want somebody to cast judgment on you. And you are going to want to be as judgment free. And another thing. Do you think that Arisha is constantly judging you? Like with judgy eyes? No, no. I think that they understand our human journey here in this earth. And we need to understand that people have their own lives and people have their own challenges and people are going through their own motions. Who the hell am I to judge anyone? And then it's like, you don't want anybody to judge you, but you're very quick to judge, even in your mind. So I wanted to share something that happened because judgment is an important part of per personal growth, uh, the topic, not judging others, but to be less judgmental, to be more understanding, to ask better questions. And to mind your own business, you have your own personal growth. You have your own Egon connection that you got to work on. You have your own Orisha connection. If you are in Candomble, you have your own, you know, if you're in Voodoo, your Loas are, you know, if you're studying whatever, if you're in school, you got your own things. And then you don't want people to judge you, but you're so quick to judge even up here. So I think this is going to have to be more of an internal effort because I know when I walk into a room, it's going to happen. People are gonna judge you, but that doesn't mean that that's what you want. So I wanted to share this short video because it literally just happened. And I said, oh my God, I didn't wanna do the video while I was at Bojangles, but we need to be less judgmental of each other. And if we're going to really say, hey, I love Arisha and I follow you know, African tradition, we have to understand and love the God in other people. Like, I'm busy. I'm busy doing my own thing. I don't want people to just, you know, cast a judgment the moment I walk in the door. But people do that because, you know, 
people are people, but that doesn't mean that we have to continue getting this energy out into the world of constantly making judgment. I think a good goal would be how can I make my Eguns and my Orishas proud today? moment to moment are you going to be a perfect 24 hours that you're going to be you know the exemplary of Iwapele come on people we're not Obatala but we could that's a good goal you know I'm gonna to try to be better to have better moments so that my Orishas and my ancestors I can make them proud short video food for thought look in the links let me know what you think again I'm getting better at responding to comments I, let's continue this conversation. This has just been a lot of mind and heart opening experiences. And I thought I would share. Bye.